Hey boys and girls, welcome back. As you know, it's August and when, here in Texas, that means two things. One, a lot of sweaty people, and two, a lot of awesome drinks to cool down with, just like this Bloody Mary here. Now, anybody who's a fan of Bloody Marys will tell you and attest that vodka and tomatoes pair very well. And so for today, I'm not gonna show you how to make Bloody Marys, that may be another video, but what I am gonna show you how to make is a penne pasta with a tomato and vodka sauce. Now to serve with the pasta on the side dish, I'm also gonna be making a sauteed Brussels sprouts. Very easy to do. If you only wanna know how to make the Brussels sprouts portion of this, go ahead and click wherever you see the link. That'll take you to the video. But let's go ahead and get started on making our penne pasta with the vodka and tomato sauce. All right, let's go over the ingredients you're gonna need for this recipe. So of course, this wouldn't be a vodka tomato sauce without vodka, but do your best to not drink any while you're actually cooking. That might lead to, well, you not finishing your cooking. <laughs> what you're gonna need is one quarter cup of vodka, about a tablespoon of olive oil, one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. You're going to also need one half of a cup of cooked Great Northern beans. Make sure you rinse and drain those. One medium yellow onion, just chopped. A half a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of dried marjoram. A half a cup of plain, unsweetened, unflavored almond milk. And one pound of penne pasta. So let's go over the steps. First, you're gonna to wanna to heat up your olive oil. This is over medium heat. And then just go ahead and add in your chopped onions you want to go ahead and cover these and cook them until they're soft. It should be about seven or eight minutes. Once that's done, we're going to add our quarter cup of vodka. and We're going to simmer that for about a minute, minute and a half. This is just to let all of the alcohol burn off. Go ahead and stir in the tomatoes along with the marjoram and the salt. And we'll turn this down to a low heat. We're going to let this simmer for about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, great. Now while that's simmering, let's go ahead and start to make our cream substitute by using the beans along with the almond milk. This is a pretty interesting mixture because you're going to see that we use the beans as the base along with the almond milk to kind of thicken that up. So basically add in your beans and the almond milk into a small food processor like this and just pulse or blend it until it's smooth. You can use a blender as well if you prefer. Next, we're going to add in one cup of the tomato mixture into our bean and milk substitute mixture. I just happened to do it into half cup measurements because I didn't want to dirty up one more measurement cup. All right, once you get that added in there, go ahead and blend it. And we want to make sure we get this to a nice and creamy consistency, as you can see here. Excellent. Next, we're gonna add this bean mixture back to the tomato sauce in the saucepan. And just go ahead and stir it to blend it all together. At this point, go ahead and give it a taste and adjust any of the seasonings if you need to. And basically, just go ahead and keep this warm while we make our pasta. Lastly, in a large pot of boiling salted water, go ahead and cook the pasta over medium-high heat, stirring it occasionally until it's al dente, which should take about 10 to 15 minutes. Then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and drain it well, then transfer it back into the cooking pot. Okay, great, so we are all done here. All you need to do now is add in your sauce, mix it, combine everything together to make sure all the pasta is covered, and then serve it with the side dish of your choice. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I was gonna pair this with the sauteed Brussels sprouts that I was making, and you can see a picture of that here. It came out excellent. I definitely recommend checking out that video if you haven't already. Um, let me go ahead and give you a shot of what it's gonna look like all finished. If you enjoyed this recipe, if you liked the video and appreciate my efforts, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for the watch. We'll see you guys next time.